Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we embark on a journey through the intricate corridors of thought that stretch beyond the physical realms we see, into the rich tapestry of complexity and emergence. Have you ever gazed at a whirlpool, or the flickering flame of a candle, and wondered about the forces at play? These mesmerizing patterns are not just random occurrences, but are deeply rooted in the fundamental principles that govern our universe. They beckon us to ask, how does order emerge from chaos? As we set sail into the philosophical seas, picture a world where every part is in constant flux, a dance of matter and energy that refuses to be still. In this ever-changing panorama, there lies a profound truth about the nature of existence. It is here, in the embrace of transformation, that we find the most enchanting philosophical landscape, the theory of dissipative structures. This concept, a brainchild of the esteemed chemist and Nobel laureate Ilya Prigogine, stands as a beacon, shedding light on how complex structures can arise from simpler ones. What does it mean for something to be truly complex? And how can systems maintain stability in the face of unceasing change? These questions reside at the heart of Prigogine's exploration and remain as pulsing enigmas, urging us to delve deeper. As we wade into the theme's core aspects, Let's imagine our universe as a canvas, painted with the brushstrokes of energy dispersal and matter organization. In this masterpiece, there are moments when systems, like a busy city or a living cell, reach a critical point of instability, a crossroad of destiny where they can either fall into disorder or rise into a new, more intricate state of being. Prigogine's work introduced us to the concept where systems dissipate energy to maintain their internal order. A profound paradox that seems to defy the second law of thermodynamics, which insists on the inevitable march toward entropy and chaos. Yet, in the heart of this paradox lies the enchanting beauty of complexity. For example, the way a colony of ants intricately organizes or how an ecosystem self-regulates, these are all testaments to the existence of dissipative structures, operating far from equilibrium, yet achieving an astonishing level of organization. Turning the pages of history, we find Prigogine's predecessors in the likes of Heraclitus, who posited that change is the only constant, and Aristotle, who contemplated the potentiality and actuality in nature's movements. Prigogine stood on the shoulders of these giants, weaving their philosophies into the very fabric of his theory. The more we know about our universe, the more difficult it becomes to believe in determinism, he said, capturing the essence of his life's work, a legacy that echoes the stochastic symphony of existence. If we look through the annals of history, we find moments where the notion of order from chaos was crystallized into the consciousness of societies. Take the Renaissance, a period of great instability yet immense creativity, where the social and political tumult gave rise to some of the most remarkable art, science, and literature. It was as if society itself was a dissipative structure, channeling the flux of human endeavor into a new edifice of human achievement. In more recent times, the digital revolution could be viewed through the same lens, with the rapid dispersion of information leading to new, complex networks of communication and innovation. The ethical implications of Prigogine's theory are as vast as they are profound. They raise questions about the responsibility of humankind as part of a larger, interdependent system. For instance, consider our impact on the environment. Are we driving the Earth towards irreversible chaos, or can we find a way to evolve our societal structures into a sustainable, harmonious state? By looking at climate change through Prigogine's framework, we can see our planet as a dissipative structure struggling to maintain balance amidst the heat of human activity. Cultural reflections of complexity and dissipative structures are abundant. In literature, authors often explore the emergence of order in the face of adversity. Fyodor Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment portrays the psychological turmoil and eventual moral rebirth of its protagonist, Raskolnikov, a vivid illustration of human complexity. In music, the works of composers like Ludwig van Beethoven, or the improvisations in jazz, can be seen as auditory dissipative structures, 
where the interplay of melody and harmony creates an ordered whole from the flux of sound. Today, the conversations around complexity and dissipative structures continue to thrive. In one corner, we find scientists and philosophers debating the implications of complexity for the future of artificial intelligence, wondering if machines can ever truly mirror the spontaneous order seen in nature. On another front, economists and sociologists ponder whether our globalized economy and interconnected societies resemble a vast, teetering dissipative structure, capable of both producing great progress and profound crises. The relevance and importance of understanding complexity and dissipative structures in our modern context cannot be overstated. From the emergence of global pandemics to the interconnected nature of our financial systems, the principles outlined by Prigogine help us frame and comprehend the intricate web of cause and effect that weaves our world together. What future implications might this have for the way we organize our societies, our technologies, and ourselves? As we bring our ideas together, let us acknowledge a synthesis of thought, that within the chaos of our lives, there is a hidden order waiting to be discovered, and within the order we cherish, there is the seed of transformation. It is a reminder that we are all part of this majestic, dynamic cosmos, a system perpetually in transition, and an invitation to embrace the complexity around us. I sincerely thank you for joining me on this exploration of Ilya Prigogine's profound theory. It is the shared curiosity and passion for knowledge that make these philosophical ventures so enriching. As you continue on with your day, I leave you with a few questions to ponder. How do you see complexity manifesting in your life? What dissipative structures have you observed or been a part of? How can we harness the understanding of these principles for the betterment of our world? And with that, I bid you an inspired farewell. May your journey through the labyrinth of life be filled with discovery, and may your mind remain ever open to the wonders of complexity. Remember, it is through questioning, learning and connecting that we grow, both as individuals and as a collective. Take care and keep the flame of inquiry alight.